I've asked God, can I tell you, you promise to keep this secret? You don't look trustworthy, or you promise to keep this secret? Ellen White says, in the time of trouble, some people will be arrested, taken to court, will have to defend the truth. And while they're defending the truth, people listening will take their stand for the truth. When I read that, I said, oh my, Father, please, let me be one. So for years I've prayed to God, please, let me be arrested. Not let me cause trouble, just let me be arrested, taken to court, and defend the teachings we believe. I want to see the fulfillment of that prophecy. People in the courtroom accepting Christ as I defend the truth. I want God to give me that. Another thing I ask God, if someday you need someone in a Muslim country who can't take a Bible, consider me. Yeah, consider me. And I said, I'll put it here. So if they ask me, do you have a Bible? I can say, no. Because what they're asking for, do you have a hard Bible? There's not a reason why I put it in my head. In Fundamentals of Christian Education, page 473, paragraph 2, Ellen White writes these words. Great truths that have lain unseated, unseen and unheard since the day of Pentecost, unheeded and, un, and unseen since the day of Pentecost, are to shine from God's word in their native purity. To those who truly love God, the Holy Spirit will reveal truths that have faded from the mind. And will also reveal truths that are entirely new. When I read it, I said, Father, I'm a preacher. I prefer to preach than to eat. Can you pick me to show me great truths that have lain unheeded and unseen since the day of Pentecost? What did Paul say? What did Peter say? No one knows now. Please tell me. And so I started praying. That's many years ago, I started praying to God. And then he said, the Holy Spirit will reveal truths that have faded from the mind. What are those truths? And will reveal truth that is entirely new. It's the Lord, please, pick me. And so I doubled up on my memorization of the Bible in Ellen White. In case God says to the angel, go and look for someone <laughs> that I can give some truth to. I want him to say, Father, we found a guy in Michigan <laughs> who loves to memorize. He must love your word. Pick him. Now they may not name me. But that's one reason why I do it. But my primary reason is, it's a source of strength. <laughs>